deflection magnetometer. Its working is based on the principle of tangent law. It consists of a small needle pivoted at the center of a circular box. This is the deflection magnetometer. Box is kept on a wooden frame having two meter scales fitted on its two arms. As it's shown, one arm will be here and another meter scale, another arm here. Reading of a scale at any point directly gives the distance of the point from the center of the compass needle. It works on the principle of tangent law in magnetism. That is B is equal to BH tan theta. So one magnetic field will be Earth's magnetic field. Another we will develop by using bar magnet. For that this arrangement is done. It consists of a small compass needle pivoted at the center of a circular box. So this is the circular box. This is the magnetic needle pivoted. It has two aluminium arms like this. Aluminium pointers for taking the readings. The scale is divided from 0 to 90, 90 to 0, 0 to 90, 90 to 0. So it is divided into four quadrants each from 0 to 90. So the aluminium pointer is used for taking the readings and the circular quadrant is divided into four parts like this 0 to 90, 90 to 0, 0 to 90, 90. and there are wooden arm like this. The box is kept in a wooden frame having two meter scale fitted on its two arms. So meter scale fitted here, meter scale is fitted here. Reading of a scale at any point directly gives the distance of that point from the center of compass needle. Tan A position. This is the first position. In this position, the magnetometer is set perpendicular to the magnetic meridian. This is the magnetic meridian. The magnetic field of earth horizontal component is along this line. The magnetometer is set perpendicular so that the magnetic field due to magnet is in axial position and perpendicular to the earth's magnetic field. So the one magnetic field is the earth's magnetic field. Another magnetic field we have to generate at the point of needle that is generated by placing a bar magnet like this on one of the arms. This is the bar magnet which is placed with the north pole and south pole. So the magnetic field due to the bar magnet at this point will be in this direction. Earth's magnetic field is in this direction. This is B magnetic field due to bar magnet. This is BH magnetic field due to earth. Because of these two magnetic field, this magnetic pointer will now deflect in this direction. Making an angle theta. So by tangent law, B by BH is equal to tan theta. B is equal to BH tan theta. Now we know the value of B. Because this is an axial point, B0 by 4 pi, 2m by the distance from here to the center. That is R, to 2m by R cube. Using BH tan theta is B0 by 4 pi, 2m by R cube. We can calculate the required either the magnetic movement of the bar magnet by noting down the deflection. Since Earth's magnetic field is constant, we can calculate distance is known from here. We can easily calculate the magnetic movement of the magnet. So in tan A position, this is called tan A position. In this position, the magnetometer is set perpendicular to the magnetic meridian. In this position, the magnetometer is set perpendicular to the magnetic meridian. So when you set it perpendicular to magnetic meridian, magnetic field due to bar magnet is in axial position and perpendicular to Earth's field. So that magnetic field due to magnet is in axial position and perpendicular to earth's field. So by using tangent law, B is equal to BH tan theta. So B is the magnetic field due to bar magnet. That magnetic field due to bar magnet axial point, we can write this one as mu naught by 4 pi 2 m r divided by R square minus L square to the power whole square. This is equal to BH tan theta. For a short bar magnet, we can also write this as mu naught by 4 pi 2 m magnetic moment divided by R cube is equal to BH tan theta. By noting the angle of deflection of this needle, R is known the distance from center to the bar magnet. 
magnetic moment can be calculated. This is called tan A position. Next, tan B position. The arms of the magnetometer are set in the magnetic meridian. So, the magnetic field due to earth will be BH. So, the magnetic field due to the magnet is in equatorial position. So, if you take the bar magnet on one of the arms, suppose this is the bar magnet which we have considered, then this becomes broadside on position. If this is north pole, this is south pole, this will be broadside on position. So, at this point, the magnetic field will be in this direction. This is the magnetic field on broadside on position B. Another magnetic field will be due to the earth's magnetic field BH. The magnetic needle will deflect by an angle theta with respect to the earth's magnetic field. So, BH tan theta will be equal to B. Since broadside on or equatorial position, magnetic field mu naught by 4 pi m by d cube or m by r cube. R is the distance from the center to the bar magnet. The arms of magnetometer are set in magnetic meridian so that the magnetic field due to magnet is at its equatorial position. So, magnetic needle comes to rest at an angle theta such that B is equal to BH tan theta. So, what is the magnetic field along the equatorial point? It will be written as mu naught by 4 pi into m divided by r square plus l square to the power 3 by 2 should be equal to bh tan theta. For a short bar magnet, it can be written as mu naught by 4 pi m by r cube that is equal to bh tan theta. So, by knowing the value of theta, earth's magnetic field, we know distance r from the center of the needle to this point here we can calculate the magnetic moment of the bar magnet in tan B position. Comparison of magnetic moments. A part. Equal distance method. This can be applied both in the case of tan A as well as in the case of tan B. So, suppose in tan A if we consider, we take the two bar magnets and place at the equal distance and finally find the magnetic moment of first bar magnet and the magnetic moment of second bar magnet, take the ratio. M1 by M2 will be equal to tan theta 1 by tan theta 2. By noting the angle theta 1 and theta 2 for the two bar magnets, at the same distance when they are placed on the arms, we can compare the magnetic moment. B part. It is called null deflection method. Here also we can put it in either tan A or tan B. But tan A position is preferable than tan B position. Now here, in tan A position, we will keep the first bar magnet on one of the arms and see the deflection in the needle. Keep the other bar magnet on the other arm in such a manner that the deflection starts decreasing. As we move the bar magnet, at a certain position, the deflection of the compass needle or the pointer becomes zero or the deflection is null deflection. Noting the position of the two bar magnets, we can compare the magnetic moment. M1 by M2 will be equal to R1 cube by R2 cube. Whether it is in tan A or tan B, the result is the same. That is null deflection method. M1 by M2 should be equal to R1 by R2 whole cube. R1 by R2 times of whole cube. So, by this we can compare the magnetic moments of the given bar magnet. We can also compare or we can also verify inverse square law verification. So, first we keep a deflection magnetometer in tan A position and keep a bar magnet at certain distance and calculate the angle of deflection tan theta A. Similarly, now the deflection magnetometer is kept in tan B position. Bar magnet is kept at the same distance and again the deflection is noted. Tan theta A by tan theta B must be equal to 2 and if it is 2, inverse square law is verified. So, once we keep the deflection magnetometer in tan A position, another time in tan B position and try to calculate tan theta A by tan theta B. If the ratio is equal to 2, then we say inverse square law is verified.